At first glance, it doesn't necessarily make sense to compare Angular and React since the former is a framework and the latter is just a library. However, both names are very common when it comes to developing interactive applications. Both are good for this, but their approaches are very different. That is exactly what this comparison is intended to illustrate. First, we need to look at how React works. React is a library used to cover the view component of the model view controller approach, that is the page of the application that the user sees and interacts with. A DOM is usually available as a tree structure for this purpose, which is generated in HTML and can only be run through and changed with great effort. By using an easier to manipulate virtual DOM, the library is able to implement interactions very quickly. React is based on JSX, that is JavaScript XML, which allows an extension with elements from XML directly into JavaScript. Now let's break down what Angular is and how it works. Angular is a framework for creating user interfaces based on the MVVM model. In contrast to the MVC model, there is no controller unit here. Instead, a connection is established between the two levels via the view model. The framework thus enables quick and easy implementation of interactions. The maker's approach is to extend HTML so that the scripting language itself can handle interactivity. Accordingly, HTML is the basis of the code here and JavaScript is built on top of it. Now what speaks for React? The primary advantage of React is the use of the virtual DOM which keeps the effort to change the actual DOM extremely low. This ensures that the application always behaves very smoothly, even if the underlying operations are quite complex or the databases are very large. Furthermore, as mentioned earlier, React is just a library and therefore has very few limitations for the developer. He can integrate any other libraries and approach the solution of his task completely free of specification instead of having to adhere to certain rules and procedures. Also, React only requires learning JSX, which shouldn't be new to the most developers. So getting started is comparatively easy and doesn't require much work. Now let's take a look at the advantages that Angular has to offer. Angular is built with TypeScript. The main advantage of this strongly typed language is that it helps developers to keep their code clean and understandable. Bugs are easy to spot and to eliminate with the ability to see common errors as you type. This makes it quicker when it comes to debugging and also easier to maintain large code base. In Angular, you can make your life easier by also using Angular Material, which is a collection of ready-to-use UI components and modules that follow Google Material's design principles. It contains a range of UI components such as navigation patterns, form controls, and buttons. Components are well documented and adapted to suit various browsers. Developed by the Angular community, these modules simplify the design workflow for teams, allowing developers to add new elements and develop applications with minimal impact on performance. In short, React is suitable for very interactive projects where other libraries are used anyway and JSX is no stranger to anyone on the team. Angular, on the other hand, is favored because the framework offers everything needed to build a website, making it easy to get started as no additional tools are needed. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you next time.